Hello, this is Tu. I'm a PharmD candidate class of 2021. In this video, I will be talking about the medications named Captopril. Its brand name is Capotens. And I will be going over some information about counseling points, mechanism of action, class and indication with formulation with doses form, dosing and administrations, special populations, adverse events with drug interaction and warnings, and some monitoring parameters. Let's begin with patient's counseling points. Captopril is used to treat high blood pressure, congested heart failure, kidney problems caused by diabetes, and to improve survival after a heart attack. Take Captopril exactly as prescribed by your doctor. This drug is usually taken one hour before meals and dosing two to three times a day. Patients should take this drug at the same time of the day. Take the missed dose as soon as you remember. Skip the missed dose if it's almost time for your next schedule one and do not take extra medicine to make up the missed dose. Most of the frequently reported side effects are dry hacking cough and changing taste. If you become pregnant or plan on getting pregnant, stop taking this medication and contact your doctor right away. Also check with your healthcare professional if any of the following side effects continue or are bothersome. They are including experiencing any abnormal heartbeat, feeling very weak, fatigued, lightheaded with persistent dizziness, or any signs of kidney problem like unable to pass urine or blood in urine. Captopril belongs to the class of angiotensin converting enzyme as known as ACE inhibitor. This medication is indicated for the treatment and management of hypertension, diabetic nephropathy, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction to decrease the chance of morbidity and mortality, as well as myocardial infection with left ventricular dysfunction. Acting as a competitive inhibitor of angiotensin converting enzyme, as known as ACE, Captopril stops the conversions of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which is a very potent vasoconstrictor. As a result, it caused an increase in plasma and renin activities and a reduction in aldosterone secretion. Therefore, it will lower the blood pressure. Captopril also blocks the breakdown of bradykinin, increased bradykinin level, which can contribute to the vasodilator action of ACE inhibitor. The increase in bradykinin is also believed to be responsible for a troublesome side effects of ACE inhibitor, namely a dry cough. Captopril may come as an oral solution. However, it is mostly available as oral tablet form. The dosage forms ranging from 12.5 mg to 100 mg. Dosing of captopril may be differently depends on its indication. For the treatment of hypertension, initial dosing is ranging from 12.5 to 25 mg two to three times a day. For patients with heart failure reduced ejection fraction, initial dosing is 6.25 mg three times a day. To improve survival following myocardial infarction in clinically stable patients with left ventricular dysfunction, initial dose is 6.25 mg by mouth once a day as early as 3 day post myocardial infarction episode followed by 12.5 mg orally 3 times a day. To treat the patients with diabetic nephropathy in patients with type 1 insulin dependent diabetes and retinopathy, initial dose is 25 mg 3 times a day. Maximum dose of captopril can be used at 50 mg by mouth 3 times a day for mostly indication. Reduce and titrate captopril dose in one to two week interval is appropriate for patients with kidney impairment. If patient with EGFR is between 10 to 50 ml per minute or patient is on continuous renal replacement therapy, captopril should be given about 75% of the normal dose. If the EGFR is less than 10 or patient is on dialysis, dosing for captopril should be decreased by half. On the other hand, there is no dosing adjustment required for patients with hepatic impairment. Also, there are existing studies showing that using ACE inhibitor in the second and third trimester of pregnancy may increase risk of fetal malformation. Thus, captopril is not recommended to use on patients who become pregnant or plan on getting pregnant. Furthermore, captopril or any type of ACE inhibitor medication show less effective in lowering blood pressure in black patients compared to other races. It also increases risk of angioedema in this type of patient populations. 
As a result, copter fuel should be avoided using. Copter fuel is a well-tolerated medication, but there are a few things that we need to watch out for. Some adverse events of copter fuel are cough, hypotension, hyperkalemia, dizziness, and declining in renal function. Patients with chronic kidney disease or if they are on potassium supplements or any type of potassium sparing drugs will have a higher chance of getting hyperkalemia. Some drug-drug interaction are shown below. Patients should avoid taking this drug, including NSAID, decongestant like Sudafed, and systemic steroids since it will increase blood pressure even more and conflict with the treating purpose of captopril. Patient is taking captopril with lithium concomitantly should be monitored for the lithium toxicity. Patient should also be monitored for the kidney function if they're taking captopril with other nephrotoxicity agents such as NSAID, loop diuretic, cyclosporin, aminoglycoside or vancomycin. And Trestal combination of Sacubitril and Valsarin cannot be combined with ACE inhibitor and a 36-hour washout period is required between these two therapies to minimize the potential for life-threatening angioedema or hypotension. This medication is contraindicated to any patient who have experienced angioedema related to previous treatment with ACE inhibitors, idiopathic or hereditary angioedema, pregnancy, or patients who are using angiotensin II receptor blocker or direct renin inhibitor. Some precautions that need to be paid attention to before prescribing this medication are aortic stenosis, bilateral renal stenosis, and renal impairment. Monitor blood pressure regularly. We also need to monitor for renal profiles and monitor CBC frequently, as well as potassium level along with other electrolyte levels and any signs and symptoms of angioedema.